Enjoy a cocktail and small bites on the deck, a new outdoor space with a monstrous AK TV screen and fire pit. Tailgating and game watching on a sunny day or staying warm by the huge fire pit on a chilly New Hampshire night has never been easier or better. The deck is the best spot to eat, drink, and get lucky without missing a minute of the sporting action. During the warmer months, you can come hang out on the deck and listen to live music all summer long. All right, Andre, obviously when the weather in New England is nice, it is nice. So having a deck speaks for itself, but can you talk to me about the events that are hosted out here? What's coming up and what are your favorite things to host out here? There is a time and a place to be outside in New England. And you got to give the ecosystem for it. And I wanted to get people back out to the track. I mean, for a lot of people, there's good memories out here. And so the deck overlooks what was the track here at Seabrook Park. We want to fill it with, again, those reasons, compelling reasons that once we get there, there's something cool going on. Tonight, we're getting ready to set up for uh, Tiki Thursday. Tiki drinks, poo-poo platters. Uh, it's an event we do with Kowloon, the legendary Kowloon, coming out here and making Mai Tais and all kinds of fun drinks with great music and entertainment. Two of the acts I want to call everybody's attention to to be out here. I, I'm a music nut. I was raised in this industry. I was uh, once the godfather of the showroom at the great Golden Nugget in Las Vegas where I had Tony Bennett to, to Jewel to Michael Buble. I love music. And I wanted to bring a few artists here that maybe people didn't know yet. Yet. Some people did, but maybe they didn't, who I think are masterful. And two of those artists are going to be out on here on the deck this summer, absolutely free. The first one I'd call your attention to is Javier Colon, a New Englander, winner of season one of The Voice. No one does James Taylor other than James Taylor like Javier Colon. So if you like JT's music, you like Javier, go Google him, come out. It's absolutely free. We're going to be out here, I hope, on an evening like, like this and enjoy his music. The other, Wenlo. They're a sensation, a brother and sister sensation. They cover songs in ways that I think the real artists must sit back and go, wow, I dug that. Super talented. They're going to be out here under the stars. So game day experience, can you differentiate for me, the difference between a game day on the deck and a game day in the sports book. What's the difference and why should people come out here to enjoy a game other than the weather? Yeah, look, there's something about what there was, something about watching Celtics NBA finals action outdoors on the deck with the fireplace going and people screaming. It just feels different. And, you know, I, look, I, I love baseball and baseball under the sun is different than under your fluorescent light. Sitting out here on a Saturday afternoon with a cold beer in your hands, some great food from Victory Kitchen, watching the Sox game, it's not a bad plan B. Parking's a lot cheaper and it's easier on the way out. There's a lot of sports. In New England, we want to be outside in the summer. God bless us, Mother Nature's been a bit confused as of late, but on the great days, we want to give her her due and be out here and enjoy it under the sun and under the stars. So you speak of Victory Kitchen. Do you have any game day favorites? I got to say, pizzas are great here. We work hard at it. But probably the smash burger that we do, I've probably been working on a smash burger with a friend for about 20 years of my life. I know that's a sad, geeky truth about my culinary history, uh, but I think we've got it right now. If you want a burger under the sun with a cold Sam Adams or beer of your choice, the deck's the right spot for it. We're going to do continually do food events out here. Uh, barbecue events. We're going to do another clam bake, lobster bake out here this summer. There's going to be a perpetual series of events and then some big parties that we're going to start to throw out here uh, on the track from time to time. Stay tuned for more information on that.